Hi everyone, I'm Eileen and welcome to Raycraft Book Storytime. Today, I'm going to be reading for you Happy Little Son by Zhu Zhang and Ming En. Both author and illustrator had such fun working on this book. It's a little bit of a puzzle, so let's see if you can figure it out. Let's get started. Here we go. Every morning, a happy little son jumped out of the sea. Little son sang a song while rising slowly behind the mountains. That's when all the animals of the mountains woke up. One day, little son said, hi everyone. What game should we play today? How about racing, said Gray Rabbit. Great, said Little Sun. Gray Rabbit ran to the west as fast as he could. He ran and ran. He jumped over a creek and dashed up a hill. Out of breath, he looked up and found Little Sun smiling at him from just above his head. Upset that he lost the race, Gray Rabbit went back to his rabbit hole. The next day, Little Sun asked again, Hi everyone, what should we play today? How about we have a beauty contest, said Peacock. Okay, said Little Sun. Peacock opened his tail and a golden ring shone along the edge of the bright blue feathers. The animals all cheered. How pretty! Little Sun smiled confidently and cast his rays through the water droplets in the air. A beautiful rainbow with all seven colors appeared in the sky. That's prettier, cheered the animals. Embarrassed, Peacock closed his tail. What is the next game? Little Sun said loud and proud. How about hide and seek? A deep voice whispered. Who are you? Little Sun asked. I am Shade, the deep voice answered. Where are you? Asked Little Sun. I am on the west side of this big banyan tree, said the deep voice. I am coming to find you, Little Sun said. Little Sun went to the west of the banyan tree, but didn't find shade. Where are you? Little Sun asked impatiently. I am now on the east side of the banyan tree, Shade said with a smile. Little Sun could not go backward no matter how impatient he got. Just wait and see, said Little Sun. I will surely catch you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow, said Shade. The next morning, Little Sun shouted immediately after he made his way above the mountains, Shade, are you up? Shade answered, sure. I am up when you are. Where are you hiding this time? Little Sun asked. On the west side of the banyan tree, Shade answered. You'd better not lie to me, said Little Sun. Yes, yes, we all see Shade, said Gray Rabbit and Peacock. He is on the west side of the banyan tree. I am coming, 
Little Sun said. Little Sun went higher and higher. He was now above the top of the banyan tree, but he didn't see shade. Peacock, do you see shade? Little Sun asked. Yes, I am resting with shade, Peacock answered. Little Sun arrived at the west side of the banyan tree and searched and searched. He heard Shade laugh. <laughs> now I am on the east side of the banyan tree. That's right, we all see him, Gray Rabbit and Peacock said, loud and proud. Disappointed, Little Sun stopped his search. No matter how hard he tried, he could not find Shade. Do you know why? The end. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'd love to hear how you know why the sun couldn't see shade. Why could the sun never find shade? Please join us for more stories this week and go to www.raycraftbooks.com if you want us to read something special for you. And please join us on our Raycraft YouTube channel to see many, many more stories. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon.